Hello ladies, welcome to Akusha Collectibles Workout Studio with with Sand. <laughs> First, we're going to start with the penny squat. Then you come back up like this. Up next, we're going to do with penny push up like man, real man. Very excellent. Up next, we are doing with penny curls. When you do three, you give up because very heavy. And now we'll do sit up with pennies. Very good. Up next, we are doing wall sit with with pennies. Look like this. You gotta keep your back firm against wall. What you can feel it burn in the legs. It so hurts. Oh man, this is called great form. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be showing off 5,000 wheat pennies that we got in this bag. Has it been searched? Has it not been searched? We don't know, but we're going to tell you about it and tell you the different signs between a search bag and an unsearched bag of wheat pennies. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. So, a little backstory on this bag of wheat pennies. My dad was up in Ohio uh, helping out some family and he went to an auction. Uh, he wrote us about this bag and I did a little research on it and I already thought it was searched. But I was like, heck, let's make a video, man. So that's what we're doing now. Um, and we kind of already knew this, this bag was searched. Um, and, and basically the difference between searched and unsearched bag of wheat pennies is uh, you know, someone took coins out of circulation or the bank took coins out of circulation, put them in a bag and never looked through them. And uh, with search bags, you kind of already know what that means. Someone looked through them all, uh, threw back the ones that weren't really worth anything, um, and then made a nice beautiful bag of wheat pennies. But the thing you could check first is you can see all this, all these, you know, all these penny marks here, kind of uh, making it its way on the canvas bag. Whoever bought this bag of wheat pennies a while back uh, probably had this on the bottom of their safe and they had it positioned this way. Um, so it was a nice weight in their safe or whatever they were doing with it. You can tell that because of all the oils that are rubbed off on the canvas bag. Um, another way that you know this, this uh, bag has been searched is that it's kind of held in with a zip tie here. Uh, most of the time when you find a, a bag, um, especially like original bag from a certain year or uh, Maybe if, it, if these uh, pennies were bagged like 50 years ago, they would have kind of used uh, the same liner um, as the bag was created in. Um, this is kind of a newer canvas bag as well. It's probably made in the past 10, 15 years. Uh, when you turn it around, uh, you can also see Lear Capital ink on there, precious metal liters. Um, the way that you can really tell between a searched and an unsearched bag of wheat pennies is, was it from a bank or was it from a coin dealer? Um, if it's from a coin dealer, then you probably already know that it's been searched through. Um, but if it's from a bank, someone was just loading pennies into a bag. They weren't checking them. Uh, the public wasn't checking them. So that's two different things that you can uh, understand um, when you're looking for search bags and unsearched bags of OE pennies. Uh, but let's crack this bag open, show you a few, give you guys a few more signs that this is a search bag of wee pennies. So we're just going to weigh this for, uh, you know, why not, right? So when you pick this sucker up, got 34 pounds, almost three ounces on that sucker. Uh, there's a lot of pennies in here. Like we were saying uh, before, there's about 5,000 that we paid for and we ended up getting 49.60. So maybe someone found something nice in here, who knows? Um, but yeah, let's crack this thing open, show you guys a few coins. Um, definitely an interesting video. Um, didn't expect the buy something like this, but like I said, it's always an interesting video to film. Um, yeah, let's open this sucker up. So, cutting the zip tie. Ah, yes. 
And we were actually looking through this bag before. Um, we already searched through this bag, which I haven't told you. Um, most of these dates in here are uh, either 50s or 40s. Um, and so when you're kind of taking a look here, you know, you're seeing 43, seeing 58. Uh, most of the common dates that you might see. Um, and kind of when you're looking through the rest of the bag, you're going to kind of just see a VF type of Lincoln scents. Um, all common date, nothing really to write home about. Um, you're going to see 36, 43, and, uh, yeah, well, 43, 44, stuff like that. It's just nothing really that's interesting about the bag. Um, and if you do find an earlier date, like we found a 1911 in there, 1910, all those were like so far beyond damaged or corroded or it was worn down to like nothing that you could just tell um, that this bag has been searched through um, because sometimes you'll find a really early date you know if you're looking through 5,000 pennies the chance of you finding a really early date that's actually in semi good condition is pretty good um, but with this bag uh, that was nowhere to be accounted for um, but you know a whole bunch of stuff here um, there's even some coins that you can see here I mean, just so heavily corroded. Um, probably taken out of some cup cup change drawer. Um, someone looked through all these and uh, just thought they'd be nice fillers for the bag. Um, you know, I can start putting more in the background here. You know, but Casey ended up spending a few hours on this bag. It's kind of interesting to uh, you know take a look through, um, even if you think it's been searched or not. Sometimes people mess it up. Some people, sometimes people don't have the full knowledge and scope of you know what you know. There's the 1941 double die Auburs which we were looking for. There was a ton of 1941s in here, but uh, none of them were double die. So someone could have picked one of those out easily. We were looking for the you know 1909S, 1909S VDB. Um, we were looking for uh, the 1955 double die, 1972 double die. But you know we are looking through wheat pennies. But we did find some actually newer pennies in here as well um, that's also another sign for us you know if these were actually bagged at a certain time in history like 40 50 years ago um, we wouldn't really see those really new age pennies in there and they would actually have to be in pretty good condition if they were um, so just another thing that's pretty interesting about the bag um, you could have fun all day long with this but you can see right here see corroded really bad um, and so when you're when if it's an unsearched bag of wheat pennies uh, like I said, there's a certain period of time where someone at a bank put a bunch of quantity in a bag. They would say they put 5,000 in a bag from a certain time period. Um, all were filled in there and then they were just uh, kept in a bank or given to somebody for change for a business. Um, but when you're kind of seeing the changes here and um, this one's completely corroded, that one's completely corroded, this one doesn't have any issues. Um, when you're seeing that inconsistency of kind of grade um, level and wear on a coin, um, you can kind of see that they've all been picked through at certain times in history and then put in a bag at a certain period of time. Um, and that, and that, and that might, and even if it was pulled from a bank, that might be the case, you know, that might be they have different grades because they all have different stories. Um, but corrosion like this doesn't happen overnight. Um, and so when you're looking through everything, you're going to kind of con see consistent kind of wear in an unsearched bag. Uh, but when you are looking through a search bag, you're kind of going to see just throwaways like this one or completely bent ones like this one, you know. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see. So we're going to have Casey dump out this huge bag of wheat pennies just to show you guys the volume of everything. Wow, Case, that's a lot of wheat pennies. How long did it take you to look through uh, all these wheat pennies here? About six hours. Took him six hours. So, uh, you know, the thing that we have to understand about uh, kind of collecting and also looking through and, and searching through these bags is um, not only were they picked out through history, but they were also searched on top of, um, you know, on top of when someone sold these. So. What's something interesting that you that you saw about the bag, or what you would think to lead you to it's being searched or not? Uh, like Drew was saying, um, with the various uh, dates that you were looking for, 
the 43 copper penny, the 55 double die obverse, um, some earlier pennies, the 1909 SVDB, the 1909 S, and the 1941P. So you'd get a lot of um, 44s, 56s, um, a lot of 51s, a lot of stuff that was around those dates. So you could tell that somebody got two decades worth of pennies and looked straight through them all to see if they could find any anything that uh, could be worth a lot of money. So, And what was the tag that was around the bag when you first saw it and we brought it in the house? There was like a tag on it. What did it say that kind of drew people into maybe bidding on it at the auction? It was an informational that told uh, them when wheat pennies were produced between this year and this year. So it's kind of interesting that it kind of leads you down rabbit holes to think maybe from 1909 to 1958 or whenever. It was uh, it was it was put on there to educate a person that wasn't very familiar with the whole wheat penny series or wheat cent series. Yeah, well, thank you for looking through all these. Um, it's it's a pretty interesting video. Maybe we can share a few things before the video ends about um, just some cool coin stories, but also uh, maybe just wanted to show these off as well. It's a lot of pennies. A lot of interesting things. Um, thank you, Casey, for spending the time and trying to find something nice in the bag. This one's a 1946, you know, better better kind of grade, you know, but most of these in this better shape are all going to be um, really later dates in the, in the Wheat Scent series. Here's a relatively nice 55 when they were looking for the double die in 55. Yeah, so, you know, this one's probably the nicest one in the whole the whole set here, which is kind of interesting. Here's a 44, like you were mentioning, a year after. So they were looking for the infamous copper penny. Yeah, so they're kind of searching. You can kind of see they're all surrounding certain dates, um, you know, around the, the double die and also around the copper penny. Um, and then everything else really has just been sorted through, looked through, for maybe a few times actually. So. Uh, pretty interesting group of coins here. It's interesting as well about this whole entire bag is that not, there is no steel sense at all from 1943. Um, so that's also something to consider. Uh, someone probably pulled all the uh, steel sense out of this bag just because they were relatively marketable. Uh, maybe the maybe the, a company or someone took these out, uh, the steel sense out, and sold them separately. So that's also something that's a sign of maybe the maybe the bag has been searched. Hey Drew, did you get any cool coins in this week? Yes, we did. Uh, we got this really nice 1930 uh, Buffalo Nickel, graded MS63 by PCGS, uh, CEC approved. Um, the reason why I like the coin so much is because it's in that rattler holder, um, has color. Um, so when you're buying a coin in an older holder, uh, the more kind of PQ that it has in terms of either it's very lustrous, very nice, uh, spot free, or you're buying a coin that has very nice color on it, both of those will be very good sellers for you. Um, so that's kind of something that we picked up this week um, as well. Uh, a few more things in the works. Um, we did send out a few checks to buy a few big coins. So uh, we're gonna be excited to share those with you when they arrive. USPS has been taking a while, but uh, yeah, more videos to come. You guys are gonna wanna enjoy it. Um, wait for it to enjoy it. Um, but if you guys are liking today's video, please like the video. Uh, we wanna reach more numismatists every single day. Um, just, you know, Give them our opinion on where the space is. Give them some entertaining videos like this. Uh, comment what your thoughts are down below about this, uh, you know, interesting kind of wheat scent bag buy. Um, we also are going to be sharing with you guys an interesting story that Casey read on the news. Um, and subscribe if you're new. Like we said, new videos every week. You guys are going to enjoy them. So Casey, tell us about a story that you heard about this weekend. Uh, you know, you've been telling me about all these stories that we should be sharing with the channel. Give us what you got. So I was scrolling through a feed on my phone and I saw an article by the New York Post that mentioned there is a large gold cube worth $11.7 .7 million in Central Park. It's sitting there. It is 410 pounds. It was constructed by a German artist. They ended up creating this golden cube out of 24 karat gold. So thinking about this giant golden cube in Central Park, even though it has a security team, you think, okay, $11.7 million, what if he or she is sleeping on the job and they pull up a tow truck and they rip that thing right out of the ground and they take it? 
or you've got a homeless person laying on it, or somebody just comes up with a screwdriver or a crowbar because it is a precious metal and just scrape off a thousand dollars worth of gold. I don't know why they would have created something like this and stuck it in a park, but it's New York. Yep. Did you guys enjoy today's video? If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new down below, and comment your thoughts. What do you think about this video? Not too many things that we shared about the weed sense themselves, but to give you guys a little bit um, of information about when you're buying your first bag of weed pennies, something to look out for between if they're searched or unsearched. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. More to come. We will see you guys in the next one.